there are various ways how a person can be trapped dealing with a narcissist. Um, you see it all the time. If you have a child with one, unfortunately, the child suffers the most um, as well. But you see it all the time. The court battles are so nasty. And the court is just very, it's exhausting. And um, they'll do whatever they can to make you suffer that way. So they, t- they love to use the kids. That's why most parents, and I believe most people in this predicament stay. It's usually for the kids. Um, I heard my mom say that all the time. I'm doing this for the, I'm doing this for you guys so you guys can have a male figure and have a father in your life. Girl, we would have done fine without him. Um, <laughs> but there's various ways. But another way that I think is very diabolical and methodical and very sinister is financial abuse. They know how to financially disrupt to where, like, if you a person, they go after ambitious people, people who are ambitious, people who know how to make their own money, people who are bosses and leaders. They want to break you down to now you're a peasant or you're a boss and leader and you bring the money home to them so they can leech off you or they'll break you down to where you completely need them and dependent of them. And that's unfortunately how it kind of went. Um, both having a child with them as well as financially just knowing how to break you down. And a lot of people don't realize that you get with a narcissist. They are going to latch onto everything. That's why they want to latch onto everything that's a part of you. If you like painting, they hate painting, but they want to get into it. Make friends with all the people with painter buddies. And, you know, you like golf, they want to make friends with all your golfer buddies. You like going out and doing this with you. They never let you do your own thing because they don't want you to have your own identity. Because if you ever do decide to walk away from them, you have all these different soul ties connected to them. So it becomes very difficult. Yeah. So that's unfortunately one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why my mother stayed um, due to that. So... God bless her soul. She's she alive, but she ain't living. I'm going to say that.